Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Jimmy Butler build, which is an insane two-way build on NBA 2K24. And with the playoffs being just around the corner, I thought there would be no better time than now to bring out this build. So with all of that being said, man, let's get started with today's video. Let's go. All right, so for today's build, we're going to be going position small forward height, six foot eight, weight 192 pounds with a seven foot four wingspan. I ended up going six foot eight because for some reason when trying to make this build, I just could not make the build I wanted to make at six, seven. I know that's Jimmy Butler's well, we ended up going one inch taller just to make sure we can get all the attribute points that we needed. All right, so now starting things off in the finishing, we're going to have an 80 driving layup, which gets you Pro Touch on Hall of Fame, and it also gets you the Jimmy Butler layup package, which is actually one of the better ones in this game. We're also going to have a 75 driving dunk, which gets you the athletic one-handers off one. Then moving on to the post control, we have an 85 to get post fade phenom on Hall of Fame, and you also get badges like post spin technician on gold. Now, trust me, I understand for an actual Jimmy Butler build, your driving layup needs to be way higher than just an 80, but you still can hit contested layups with an 80 and with how the builder is designed in this year's game it is really hard to make a two-way build that's got a whole lot of defense that you could still cram a whole lot of offense out into so we really did our best to try and min max the amount of attribute points we had on offense to where it's sustainable to where you can score without any issue and then put the rest of it into defense as much as possible now, i'm gonna be honest with you guys i think jimmy butler's layup package is one of the best in the game it has a bunch of really good animations across the board the scoops are good the euros are good the floaters are good your x button layups are going to be really good everything about this layup package is good and there's not really a whole lot of bad animations in this layup package now right here at this point in the game we were up by like 16 with about a minute left so i was trying to just get a nice little little clip right here trying to dribble but we're double teaming we're still gonna go down there and get the layup we acrobatted out and got an open shot off and then the final finishing clip right here just a nice little cut to the basket into a layup and we got it over the defender now moving on to the shooting we're going to have an 87 mid-range shot and an 80 three-point shot now we went with that 87 midi specifically to get one jump shot base which is by far the best jump shot base in the game and that is going to be tracy mcgrady if you're trying to make a decent wing build in this game you should never go below an 87 midi because that t-mac jump shot base is by far better than any other in this game you also get badges like open looks on gold with that 86 midi you also get badges like post fade phenom on hall of fame and with that 83 point shot you could definitely hit off of the dribble out at the three-point line as well now moving on to the shooting segment for this build you're going to realize that this is going to be a very long segment and you'll see why in the very next clip now listen man in this one game right here i get left wide open for so many catch and shoot shots it was comical i ended up having like almost 50 points off of just wide open catch and shoots out the corner and you're gonna pretty much see every single one of those and while we're taking a look at those we'll also talk about jimmy butler as a player jimmy butler is somebody that when he is in the postseason you could argue he is the best player in the world but in that regular season man it's hard to even argue he's top 10 like jimmy butler will literally disappear from the start of the regular season till about march and then all of a sudden he starts caring about basketball again maybe care is a bit too strong of a term because i don't want to make it sound like he doesn't care about playing basketball prior until that moment but it really just looks like that sometimes now for the people that are watching that may not know me too well listen let me get my bias out the way i am a miami heat fan so i'm going to think very highly of jimmy butler in a lot of instances but i try to not be as biased as possible and i will recognize that he doesn't perform as well in the regular season as he does in the postseason but in the postseason he's a pretty scary guy i am not gonna lie as i was getting ready to record and make this video or whatever i actually re-watched that buck series where he was just going absolutely insane scoring on drew holiday in every single way possible and i'm telling you he was just unreal you you genuinely need to re-watch it to understand how good he was but enough of me talking about jimmy butler let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about jimmy butler i think he's an excellent two-way player and he shines in the postseason but hey man it's just me and since we're talking about postseason basketball fellas let me know two things first and foremost who your nba finals matchup is most likely going to be in your head obviously i think it's probably going to be boston and denver and then also let me know what you guys think about the whole march madness tournament going on right now there's been quite a few upsets already and let me know who you guys think is going to win march madness i usually don't watch march madness but this is probably the first time i've actually like seriously tried to watch it and it's been pretty entertaining like basketball for the most part but back to the bill man you listen you could you can shoot pretty much anything with Tracy McGrady base and it's going to be open and I will give you guys a jump shot at the end of the video and we'll talk about that for just a little bit but getting back to the build listen that 87 midi is crucial having the open looks on gold and you're still going to be able to shoot off the dribble as well because you get midi magician on gold as well as you saw right there hit a tough little buzzer beater for a bucket usually on this build my shot selection is very simple if I don't have the wide open catch and shoot three we're looking to get to that midi fade because usually people want to play me really high and then if the midi fade's not there we can always drop 
drive to the rim and get a layup, usually going for floaters because there's usually people always sitting in the paint in random wreck. But again, right here, shot clock is low, fading to that mid-range area once again. You can be super consistent shooting off the dribble in the midi with that 87 mid-range rating. And then again, right here, shot clock's low, fading to that left mid-range area. For some reason, when I was on this build, I got a lot of grenades thrown at me. We were able to score in a lot of those situations, but again, here is the jump shot we were using. Base Tracy McGrady, release one Troy Brown Jr., release two Oscar Robertson, blend 83 to 17. This is probably the most popular jump shot that is used in this year's game. It's I know it's a jump shot that was mentioned in a Joe Knows video recently, and it's pretty much a go-to jump shot for a lot of comp pro-am players and for myself as well. All right, now moving on to the playmaking, we're going to have a 75 pass accuracy with an 85 ball handle as well as a 75 speed with ball. This is pretty standard on all 6-8 builds. These are usually the minimums that everybody goes for. And it's going to get you badges like silver speed booster, silver blow by, which are good playmaking badges to have. And you're also going to get a bunch of really good dribble animations, which include that Jamal Murray behind the back. That is by far one of the best animations in the game. So, I mean, hey, you need it. It's funny that I say that, but when I was recording on this build, I was pretty much using exclusively Jimmy Butler animations. So, I mean, hey, there's still a bunch of really good dribble animations in this game that you can use. And I'm not going to lie, that Jimmy Butler step back is kind of nice. And as you can see right here, we're throwing some cross court passes to wide open shooters. But yeah, nah, man, the playmaking on this build is going to be pretty good. You're going to be able to dribble, create your own shot without any issue, and you can still pass as well with that 75 pass accuracy. Should Jimmy Butler have a higher pass accuracy rating? Yes, absolutely. But again, like I mentioned earlier on in this video, if you want to make a good two-way build in this game, you have to sacrifice a lot on the offensive end. So this is just enough to be suitable on this build. Then moving on to the animations. Here were all the animations I was using on this build. And like I said, once again, I was pretty much using all of the Jimmy Butler animations that I could. And now moving on to the defense, we're going to have a 74 interior defense for bronze post move lockdown and 87 perimeter defense for gold challenger and a 91 steal to get glove interceptor and right stick ripper on gold now the one thing with this build is we were not able to get a high enough block rating for even like a 68 block or a 78 block but if you do want to make some changes to this building you do want to get some block rating for like bronze chase down or bronze anchor you can do that i just didn't do it on my build now moving on to the defensive highlights on this build man you're going to be tearing it off a whole lot of people and just having glove is just going to force people to pick up their dribble right here dot a wide open man now he's going to miss the shot so we get back on defense the moment i see him shoot that ball so we could get back and get in that passing lane right there i'm looking like a user linebacker on madden the way i'm covering this field right now make sure you sub in your safeties at linebacker spots so you get a little bit more speed but hey that's a totally different game we're not going to be talking about that one but listen man get the pluck right there taking it coast to coast and go for the lay nah man defense on this game is just it's just, it's just nasty bro the steals are nasty on this game even after getting patched multiple times steals are still one of the best things to have on your build if you're not making a build with gold glove gold right stick ripper and gold interceptor man i ain't gonna lie it's kind of troll and that's me saying that because listen i made a lot of builds this year that only get 60 steel but man there are levels to steel rating man having that gold interceptor gold right stick ripper and gold glove is absolutely insane and it's just kind of crazy that it's taken me like seven months into playing this game to realize that and forcing turnovers like that can just translate into such easy buckets which is going to make you a better score as well defense does translate into offense a lot of times in this game and you can see that on display right here with my teammate missing a wide open catch and shoot but now here's the build fully maxed out you can see the physicals as well 83 speed 73 acceleration that's just enough to get that blow by on silver 74 strength to get things like physical handles on gold get immovable enforcer on bronze and then we're gonna have a 70 vertical as well just so we can get some decent jump contests on this build and now the build is complete and when coming out of the my player builder we are going to get these shades of karen butler jimmy butler and paul george i don't know if i pronounced that first guy's name correctly i've never really heard of him before call me a casual if you want but we get the build name two way through level three and i'm out of here guys hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm out peace bye, bye.